Today we are going to talk about another mode of ventilation which is CPAP. The word CPAP means continuous positive airway pressure. This is a, a spontaneous breathing mode. It's a very important mode. We should discuss it in order to understand it and understand after that what's meant by that. Before we start discussing any mode, we have to understand that the mode is formed of uh, control vari variables, phase variable, conditioned variables, apnea, and wave falls. So in this uh, mode, which is uh, CBAP, we'll find that the control variables, nothing in the control variables says preset except the pressure. So there is uh, the flow, there is no flow, preset flow, no preset volume, no preset in spat of time, only a pressure in the form of what we call P, which is a CPAP. If I told for sure about that, the respiratory rate is not uh, that of the machine, it is the patient respiratory rate, so we do not set the respiratory rate. Triggering, not triggering, it is an open, it is an open valve all through the cycles, inspiration and expirations. No resonic time, no limit. The limit only the pressure. And the pressure here, the which is a continuous pressure. The machine does not allow the pressure to go up or to go down. So this is a continuous pressure, the same level of pressure all through the inspiration and expiration. Cycle of, the determination of the cycle, that of the patient. He starts and he ends. This part of both for sure is not present. Beep, the pressure, this pressure is responsible for the increase in the functions of the capacity for a certain level, so it acts as a beep. But it's not a beep, it is CPAP. No sigh. Apnea mode should be given, so it should be given as a backup for this spontaneous mode, and the waveform is decelerating. Before I think we go through the CPAP, I think it's better to, to, to have uh, 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 just an idea. When you look at uh, yourself, when you are sitting in your room at the sea level, you are taking your inspirations uh, from the atmospheric pressure, from the zero level, and you exhale again to the zero level. And the tidal volume, the entry of the tidal volume for you while you are breathing now, depends on the negative pressure you are producing. So if you make a negative pressure by minus 3, you will develop a, a, a tidal volume of certain volume, of certain value. If you make a pressure, negative pressure minus 10, the tidal volume for sure will increase. And, the, and this is number one. So you are, the, the tidal vol volume depends on the negative pressure you are doing because you are taking your inspiration from zero and you are making expiration against the zero level, right? So the volume, the tidal volume depends on the efforts you make. Look at another point. At end of expiration, at end of expirations, the alveolar pressure is usually the same like of atmospheric pressure, which is zero. And at end of expiration, there is no flow in or out because there is no pressure gradient. Alveolar pressure is zero and the atmospheric pressure is zero. Right? This is a normal respiration. Imagine yourself you are present in a chamber, in a room, which is pressurized, and this room is pressurized by 10 cm water. In this case, you are taking your inspiration from pressure 10 cm water. And at the same time, you are expiring, exhaling against 10 cm water. So, the effort you are doing, minus 5, minus 10, whatever, is the pressure is the negative pressure uh, uh, responsible for the delivery of the tidal volume because during inspiration it is 10 during expiration it is 10 in the room the same like during inspiration is zero and during expiration is zero and the main changeable factor is the drive of the patient which is responsible for the entry of this tidal volume so the pressurized room will never ever make a change in the tidal volume because there is no change, no difference during inspiration and during expiration. But regarding the alveolar pressure, at end of expiration, in the normal, at sea level, when the atmospheric pressure is zero, at end of expiration, the alveolar pressure is zero, and at the same time, when the, when the pressure is uh, 10, 
you look at at the end of expiration the alveolar pressure will be the same like atmospheric pressure in this case the alveolar pressure will be 10 centimeter water the same like uh, the pressurized room 10 centimeter water with where there is no flow either in or out so there is no pressure gradient in this case the alveolar pressure is high what does it mean this means that the function residual capacity is not the function residual capacity as when the pressure is zero so the function residual capacity is more by certain volume responsible for the production of pressure 10 centimeter water so in this case then the CPAP the uh, uh, the pressure inside the alveoli will be the same like the value you set and this means that uh, you are as if you are putting a peep but here in this this peep is due to the flow and the pressure which is preset not trapping of air in the lung to increase the function residual capacity above normal to produce certain pressure so this is very important when you look at this circuit this is the inflow this is the flow in CBAP it is a continuous flow continuous flow and the target point uh, culprit point is the pressure the pressure here which is uh, which is controlled by this uh, exhalation valve this pressure should not be it is not allowed to go up or to go down this pressure is continuous all through the cycles so the flow is continuous and this when the patient takes his inspiration the flow this is taking here the pressure starts to drop so the, the flow should increase in order to keep the pressure around the set value say 10 centimeter water when the patient makes exhalation so the flow this is a pressure it starts to increase so the flow decreases in order to keep the pressure around 10 so this is the problem of this to understand it this is a, a CPAP it is a continuous flow and the only the only limiting factor is the pressure so the pressure is not allowed to go up or to go down if the, if the patient takes starts to take his inspirations this means that he's taking flow the flow increase to keep the pressure about around 10 when the patient starts to exhale the, the flow decreases in order to keep the uh, uh, pressure uh, uh, around uh, around 10 this is on uh, on the contrary to the uh, beep beep here when you take the when you deliver it and say if you put the beep about 10 this is the tidal volume is delivered and uh, after the tidal volume this is uh, the uh, uh, the flow will come here through the expiratory valve and when the pressure comes to 10 the, uh, uh, the, the the valve closes this means that there is a trapping of some certain of value of uh, some val a certain value of, uh, of, of volume uh, 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 above the function residual capacity in order to make the pressure at end of expiration so about 10 so this is mean that uh, you are trapping a volume for the first uh, few, si few uh, cycles the uh, uh, volume is controlled and to the, the volume added to the function of the capacity will be controlled and after that the tidal volume which goes in tidal volume comes out and the function of the capacity is now is more than normal by certain uh, uh, volume which produces the pressures of 10 so this is uh, the beep so the beep uh, you are adding some volume to the function of the capacity to give you a pressure because we do not measure the volume we measure the pressure it is easy but uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the other hand, the CPAP is something else, as I've mentioned, it's a flow, and this flow uh, 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 is continuous uh, with uh, 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 the uh, CPAP, uh, CPAP value all through the scapta, all through inspiration and expiration. All the ventilators are usually write down pressure support CPAP. This is a pressure support because usually we shot from pressure support CPAP. When you look at this data, this is that of pressure support. This is the patient's trigger by certain value, and then this is the rising time. The the, the machine delivers uh, the flow by certain by certain flow to reach to certain uh, preset uh, pressure, and the patient ends the cycle when when the flow drops to a certain level like 30 percent of the big flow so these are these data are the data of the pressure support and you put beep or not and uh, the fio2 and this is a backup but when you can only look at uh, the cpap oh yes cpap there is no pressure support no triggering no rising time no pressure support above the beep no cycle off all this is usually are not present the only thing we, we have is a beep so in this case it's called CPAP because there is a continuous flow 
and uh, the patient and the, the ventilator tries to keep the, his, uh, uh, the, the pressure around this figure. No up, no down. When the patient exhales, the flow decreases. When the patient uh, in, inhales or takes inspiration, the flow increases to keep this uh, uh, pressure uh, uh, constant. And this is the FIO2 and the back up for sure. So this is, uh, look at this. So this is when you look at uh, the pressure time curve, it is oscillating. During any inspiration, so when it starts to, to, uh, to, to fall down or to calm down, the flow increases in order to restore it to, to the normal. When the patient exhales, so the flow decreases to restore it back to the normal. So this is a pressure time curve. You, follow, you find it, this is around 8 or something like that. So it's just a solution with an inspiration. This is the flow time curve. This is the flow. This is the flow to the patients. And this is the flow. This is the flow. And at the same time, there's a volume. This is the volume. In the volume, this is the volume. So this is the bad. Look at this. Same thing when you look at this is oscillating. This is a visual time curve. This is a flow time curve. Visual time curve it is not steady state. It is not steady line, but it is oscillating. So the machine itself is the order to the machine is to keep the pressure around the, the figure you put, say 10 centimeter water, and uh, it tries you know, the flow increase and decrease in order to keep it constant, whether it's through inspiration or through expirations. And this is the uh, flow time curve, this inspiration, this expiration. Same thing, look look at this, also the same thing, this is the sabab you bought, and this is the fire 2 and this is the flow of the patients. When you look at this, the same, when you look at this, is the tidal volume, which is variable, one one large, one small, something like that, and this is the pressure time curve, which is oscillating. So what, uh, 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 to conclude from these reactions of the ventilator with the, with the, with the patients uh, and regarding CBAB. CBAB, as I've mentioned before, look at this, this is the pressure support. Pressure support here, when you look at the workload, it is a share of the workload by the, by the ventilator. Workload is the difference between uh, 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 b between the uh, uh, beep and the pressure support. This is the driving pressure, driving pressure by, by the machine, and this is the driving pressure exerted by the patient, uh, which is the beep and the uh, negative pressure. So this uh, driving pressure plus this driving pressure is responsible for the driver of the starter volume. When you increase, when you decrease the driving pressure of the of the machine, there's an increase, the concomitant increase of, uh, of the patient uh, to keep the starter volume normal. It's healthy per person, but when you look at this. This is a patient with CPAP. There is no difference between inspiration and expiration. So there is no driving patient by the machine. And this means that, simply, there is no workload done by the machine. The only workload which is done is done by the patient. So the patient is doing his workload. This is a special patient, negative special patient. This is the flow and this is tidal volume. So this, uh, the workload is only done by the patient. There is no help from the, uh, the ventilator. When you look at, at the flow, for sure, there's no difference between uh, between inspiration and expiration. It is fixed one. So the patient, when the patient takes his inspiration, uh, making mandatory, there's a flow to, to compensate for that, uh, for the dispersions, making minus five, the flow will increase. So this flow is changeable according to the demand of the patient or according to the drive of the patient. So this goes with the demand of the patients. Look at the total volume, the same thing. This is the patient starts his effort and this is the effort of the patients and patients end his efforts without no triggering and no cycling off so this is the time of the this is a this is the, the the volume of the patients the volume of the patient the volume depends on the effort by the patients from the inspired time of the patients the effort of the patients are uh, he's doing the drive of the patients uh, this will be responsible for the account for sure this depends on the compliance and resistance and the effort done by the patients and it's part of time so this will be, will be determined so it is variable and this is the patient uh, the patient effort the same thing for when, when you look at uh, the inspired time the patient starts there's no demand valve no opening of the demand it is open all through the time and also sometimes closing it is open all the time so the patient starts and the patient ends and this is the time for the patients this is inspired time so this is i think uh, the it is good matching when you come to the oxygenation for sure it depends on the fi2 and the level of the CPAP. level of the CPAP we mean here because as i've mentioned before level of the CPAP is responsible for the inflation of the lung for increasing the function gets residual capacity and accordingly the atelectatic alveoli will be open and this is uh, will be of help. So when you say the level of the of the CBAB is it not for the level of the CBAB, what is the, the benefit? Number one, 
the level of sebum is, is, is responsible as if like the beep is responsible for the inflation of the lung and this is good for the oxygenation uh, and to keep the uh, alveoli open at the same time this level does not have any impact on the total volume as i've mentioned because there is no difference between inspiration and expirations there is no driving pressure from the ventilator itself but the benefit uh, will be from through this is a level through the to out to overcome the resistance uh, of the endotracheal tube so this is very important to keep in mind so this is uh, the cpap is a spontaneous mode of ventilation so the workload is totally patients uh, uh, totally from the patients, uh, uh, except for the tube uh, uh, resistance uh, uh, to be overcome by the level of the CPAP. Flow is variable that of the patients. Uh, volume is variable, it is that of the patients. In this part of time, it is variable that of the patients. Uh, so, it's, um, so everything is done for, for the patients. And this is, uh, I think, this is a good compatibility with the uh, CPAP. Thank you.